never give up. What's up guys, River here. I wanted to put out this video today because I was totally inspired by a comment in one of, video, one of the videos that posted yesterday. In the video yesterday, we went to Google. I don't know if any of you seen that. If you didn't, check out the annotation in the corner or the link below. But in that video, I read a comment that just kind of struck a nerve in a really great way. Bob, one of our subscribers who has the channel Awkward Bob, you can see, I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. He commented and he had told me that he has created successfully 141 pieces of content, which in itself is amazing. Bob, if you're watching this, that is such a huge accomplishment. I wrote you back a big long comment, but it, I just had to make a video about it. I actually scrapped the vlog from today because nothing really interesting happened, it was just another day. But I figured this was so much more important and you inspired me to create an actual like standalone piece of content that I think can help a lot of people. In that comment, and I hope you don't mind me saying so, you said that you had thought about quitting producing videos multiple times this week. And I cannot begin to tell you how real that conversation is for Allison and I, I can, I can tell you for Kyle and McKenna, I'm sure Katie and Blake, a bunch of vloggers, not only just in our community, but outside of it as well. And what I'm about to talk about doesn't necessarily have to do with vlogging. It's literally anything in your life that you put your mind to, anything that you want to accomplish. Every time that I decide that I'm gonna have a hobby, it's just my lifestyle, I jump in with two feet, no looking back. Vlogging has been absolutely no different than that. We went from zero to 100 real quick. We go zero to 100 real quick. Real quick, real quick. And went from nothing to daily, which is like the absolute most crazy thing in the world. But I knew it was going to challenge both Allison and I greatly in terms of the commitment to the time, the commitment to the craft. We're gonna have to learn really fast. And really quickly, you get this sense of like, I have to be perfect, I have to produce these videos that are just as good if not better than all of the other creators that are on YouTube. But no you don't. It's really easy to fall into that. And the thing that keeps me going, that I want all of you to listen to, that it doesn't have anything to do with vlogging, like I said, it's anything, is actually a quote by Vince Lombardi. Vince Lombardi once said that perfection is unobtainable, but to chase perfection you may catch excellence. And folks, that is the absolute truth. If you're having a YouTube channel and you're not growing as fast as you'd like to be, aren't we all? If you're not getting all the views that you want, if you're not getting mentioned, if you're not doing things that you wish that you were there, just keep going. Perfection is not the goal. It should never be. But I will say this, every single piece of content that you do or everything that you continue to do in your passions will make you better. If you look back to vlog number one of ours, it was shot, it was shot on this phone right here, holding it like this, and I edited it on iMovie and posted it. In my opinion, it's complete crap. Hell, I don't think our vlogs are really that great now. There, it, but that's because I have a perception of where I want them to be. It is the pursuit of perfection that's going to get us to excellence. It has already gotten us to excellence in the sense that we have come a long way. Any YouTuber that you watch, if you watch their early stuff, it is always inevitably worse than the stuff that they just post. But just don't give up, guys. Like every single time that you have something that you're putting your mind to, it's so easy to give in mentally to whatever stress or uh, time management or something that you have to do. But that, in that moment, that is learning. When you feel almost overwhelmed, when you don't know what to do and you have to figure it out, that moment that you figure it out, that's learning. And it's a really magical thing. I get to see it in people every day at work when we put them, put, give them challenges. I get to see it in my own life when I have to figure things out. There are 100% days <clears throat> where I wake up in the morning and I go, okay, well I just finished editing the video and I guess it's time to start another video. The benefit is that I actually love to do that. But if I'm not feeling well or something like that, 
it does fall down on the priority list. And to be perfectly honest, the thing that motivates me, that keeps me going, is I want to have that archive of memories for Allison and I, not skipping any days, and then also, I want to continue the conversation with each of you. It motivates me. I was laying in bed tonight thinking like, nah, I'll just shoot something in the morning, or I'll just do whatever, and I got an email from someone that was a subscriber that motivated me to get my butt out of bed and keep going. And it's just funny how that stuff happens, that you just find a thing that keeps you motivating and just reminding yourself of why you began. If you, any hobby that you have, any job that you have, any volunteer work, or if it's YouTube, remind yourself, why did I start doing this? If you can get back after, why you're there, why you're doing what you're doing, that's the motivation that you need to hang on to and never let that go. People may ask, well, when is it time to actually quit? Now, there are also circumstances that come up that would require you to stop pursuing your passions or pursuing your hobbies, and that right there is something that only you can make. You cannot confide in anyone to say, should I do this? That's something that you need to make as a decision for yourself. If vlogging or anything else ever interfered with your, your personal life, your relationships that are you know healthy, then maybe that's a choice that you're gonna need to make. But don't quit because it gets tough. That, 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 that just makes you a quitter. Going back to good old Vince Lombardi, the harder you work, the harder you surrender. Just remember that. I just kind of ranted a little bit here, guys, and I, I didn't mean to, well, I, yeah, I kind of did. I, I just wanted to talk to you, because this is, it's a vlog, right? It's not specific pieces of content that I'm necessarily creatively putting together, or things like that. This is a vlogging channel where you get to get to know me and Allison and do cool things. Allison's in the other room doing some work, that's why she couldn't participate in the videos. But in the future, we're gonna be doing more creative works where I can sit and actually put together a creative concept and idea and go out and shoot some creative shots and things like that. But the fact that we're just vlogging right now and you getting to know us is why I've decided to do another video kind of like this. So don't give up, guys. Do not give up on your passions. Do not surrender, never quit, never, ever, ever quit. Just remember that. We love each and every one of you. Hopefully this video gave you guys a little bit of motivation for today. Give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. We have daily content every single day. Go Cubs, I love you guys, we'll see you tomorrow. I love you too. <laughs> I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I love YouTube. <laughs> this is embarrassing.